Hey guys, welcome back to another great game of CDH. Today's game is going to be another Stacks on Stacks action pack game. And while it's not everyone's cup of tea, I like this one, as people were definitely still making moves. And it wasn't all just land go. But I'll save any more insight for the game review. I also wanted everyone to know I'll be on vacation next week. And while I'm still planning on getting a video out, I just wanted to give everyone the heads up just in case. Also, have you heard the news? Your favorite CDH YouTube channel has released some cool merch. And if you're interested in picking up some sweet new apparel, come check us out. Also, if you like what you see, consider joining our Patreon, as with your help, we can keep producing the videos you enjoy. And if you want to play with us, hop on our Discord. We have an ever-growing community that loves to talk MTG or whatever else strikes our fancy. And we would love to meet new people. All right, block there, kill that. Oh, that is trample. Guess I'm just dead on board. Starting us off is John, piloting Tim Natana. This deck is otherwise known as Blood Pod, and is what's known as a Meta Crusher deck. It's a stack stack that is highly customizable to what you want to hate on. Its goal is to grind the game down and gain advantage, since you know what stacks pieces are coming. Tuned to a specific meta, it can often hold the entire table down, but only if tuned properly. Next up is Hidden Planet X playing Marnius Kalgar. This is a mid-range deck that looks to combo quickly if it can, or prolong the game and gain advantage using its commander's draw and activated abilities. It also has the power to beat down pretty heavily on your opponents if need be, and the deck runs a lot of Esper good stuff, but has a lot of fun synergies as well with its commander. In the third spot, we have Pixel back on Captain Sisse. This is an adaptive combo deck that leverages the consistency and versatility of Sisse's ability to assemble one card combos and find silver bullet stacks pieces to stop the majority of archetypes in the format. This deck aims for a quick Sisse tutor for stacks pieces to lock the board out or to tutor for infinite mana combos using a variety of legendary combo enablers. And bringing up the rear we have Solvi on Thrasios Bruce Tarl otherwise known as Don Walker Thrasios. It's a four color mid-range list that focuses more on gaining value off of Thrasios activations and wins using Grim Monolith and Dockside combos. Solvi's list is based off Comedian's MTG's list, and if you're interested in learning more, I will have a video deck tech linked in the corner. But without further ado, let's get on to the gameplay. John starts off the game with a nurturing peatland taking one to cast the Birds of Paradise. Hidden plays a Tundra and uses it to cast the Mystic Remora as the first stacks piece of the game. Pixel has a Plains as land and casts a Deafening Silence, also giving a card to Hidden from the fish. Solvi shocks in a Hollowed Fountain and casts a Springleaf Drum, giving another card to Hidden. John plays an Exotic Orchard and for two casts a Sylvan Library, giving the third card to Hidden. Hidden untaps and pays for his fish. He plays an underground sea as land and has to go to discards. He wants to keep his hand of spells and decides to risk it and discards a misty rainforest and a scalding tarn. Pixel has a forest and enchants it with utopia sprawl. He has a card to hidden but is done after that. Solvi plays a mana conflux as land and loses a life to cast a kinnon. Tapping his creature to the spring leaf or a white mana to cast an Esper Sentinel to keep taxing the board. Although Pixel does have a response as he casts an Enlightened Tutor, this way he only feeds Hidden a card and not both players. Pixel ends up putting a Jeweled Lotus on top and with the Sentinel still on the stack, Hidden decides to brainstorm. He doesn't care for the top of his library and Solvi's Sentinel finally resolves. John untaps and takes hate from his Sylvan library. He plays an Arid Mesa as land and then casts an Ignoble Hierarch. He then cracks his fetch for a scrub lands, but shortcuts as he ends his turn with an Archon of Emeria, since one rule of law effect wasn't bad enough. Hidden was originally going to let his fish die, but knowing the Archon stops him from playing his Godless Shrine untapped, he ends up paying for it. He uses his one spell for turn on a Lotus Petal and gives a card to Solvi off the Sentinel, with Hidden ending his turn discarding a Preordain due to hand size. Pixel has a fast turn just playing a tap Wirewood Lodge 
and casting a Yisan, Traveling Bard. <laughs> As that's a pretty good way of getting around the stacks right now. Solvi plays a tap Tarnish Citadel and taps 2 to cast his commander, Thrasios. John Sylvans, and this time he doesn't take any extra. He plays a Windswept Heat and then his commander, Timna. He moves to combat and sends the Archon at Hidden, who can't block, with John paying 1 to draw off Timna. Hidden untaps and knows he needs to start being a little more active in the game. He lets his fish die and for 3 casts a Monastery Mentor. Pixel draws and can activate Yisan at instant speed, so he just passes. Solvi doesn't have a land, but does have a Zerda, with the whole table taking notice, but not having any responses. With John at his end step, cracking his fetch for a Savannah. And still in the end step, he flashes in an Avon Mind Sensor. He had hoped to catch Pixel out, but wants to do something on his turn. With Pixel activating his Yisan in response to find a 1-drop, he finds a Quirion Ranger and the turn is ended. John Sylvans and takes 4 to keep an extra card. He is a Misty as land, which he cracks for a Taiga. He's happy for the shuffle and has the combat. He sends Timna at Pixel, the Archon at Hidden, and the Avon at Solvi. There are no blocks, with John getting 2 life off Timna, although he then pays 3 to draw 3 on his second main, with him ending his turn with a Mayhem Devil. Hidden really wishes he didn't pitch those extra lands, as he casts a Talisman of Progress. This triggers the Monastery Mentor for a Monk token, and Hidden gives a card to Solvi. Pixel has another quick turn, just playing his Tutor Jeweled Lotus, with Solvi at his end step activating Thrasios to scry a Dranith to his hand. Solvi has a tapped Waterlog Grove and pays 2 life to cast a Phyrexian Metamorph. There are no responses to the clone, which enters as a copy of the Mayhem Devil. John Sylvans and doesn't take any extra cards from his Sylvan. He plays and cracks a Verdant Catacombs, with there now being two Mayhem Devil triggers on the stack. Solvi's trigger takes out John's bird, although he does float a green, and John's trigger takes out Pixel's Quarian Ranger. John then finds a Bayou and has a combat. The Archon heads at Solvi, the Avon at Hidden, and the Mayhem Devil heads at Pixel. But before blockers, Pixel flashes in a Yeva. And while she does have some cool abilities, the most important thing is her 4 power and toughness, as she eats the Mayhem Devil, while the other two players take the hit. With John paying 2 life to Timna and ending his turn with an Esper Sentinel, and discards due to hand size. Hidden for 2 casts a very useful Wish Claw Talisman. He gets a Monk and pays for both the S per Sentinel triggers. Pixel casts a Kataki War's Wage as his 1 spell for turn, and at his end step, Solvi activates Thrasios to bottom a card and reveal a Volcanic Island. Solvi untaps and pays for every artifact but his S per Sentinel. This triggers his Devil, and he chooses to remove the Kataki even with Pixel trying to persuade him otherwise. He draws for turn and plays a tap Taiga, following it up with a Tranith Magistrate. Pixel does have a response as he cracks his Lotus to flash in his commander, Sisse. This puts another Mayhem Devil trigger on the stack and Solvi decides to ping the Ignoble Hierarch on John's side. With John at his end step, cracking his Nurturing Peatland to draw a card, with Solvi then pinging his Esper Sentinel. John Sylvans and takes 4 to draw an extra card. He plays a Polluted Delta as land and casts a Dothy Voidwalker. John then sacrifices his Delta and Solvi tries to get Hidden to crack his pedal, so he can deal 2 damage to Timna. Hidden declines as he needs his mana and Solvi decides to still put the 1 damage on the Timna just in case. John then finds a Badlands and heads to combat. He sends the Avon at Hidden, and the Archon heads at Solvi. And while still in combat, Solvi sacks his own Waterlog Grove to draw and ping Timna before John can draw any more cards. Hidden draws and finds something to cast, as he puts a Grand Abolisher into play. Pixel untaps and activates Sisse, 
There's still an Aven, but he's looking for anything at this point. Although nothing finds him, as he whiffs, and plays a tap sun petal grove as land. Sylvie is a tap gemstone caverns and pays to you for a devoted druid. John Sylvans and takes four more for an extra card. He plays a city of brass and laments the Dranith. He casts a dark confidant and decides to hold his creatures back. With Pixel at his end step, activating Eson, although he whiffs this search as well. Hidden plays a tap polluted delta, not having anything else, he passes. Pixel activates Sisei again, and this time reveals a Beseju. With John at his end step, pyroblasting the Kinnon, and Solvi responding by dispelling it. And then activating Thrasos to bottom another card, and this time reveal a Swords to Plowshares. With Solvi still having enough mana to activate one more time, bottoming the card and revealing a Resculpt. Solvi has a tap Flooded Strand and casts a Mox Amber, with John at his end step Enlightened Tutoring. Pixel does activate Eson in response, but whiffs and it resolves, with John finding a Birthing Pod. John Sylvans and doesn't take any extra. He pays two life to cast the birthing pod. We all realize there's also a dark confidant trigger and John takes one as he reveals a worldly tutor. With the pod still in the stack, Solvi activates Thrasios, putting an emergence zone into play and activating him again. This time he reveals an arid mesa and activates Thrasios one more time, revealing a sea of clouds. The pod then resolves, and John pays two more life to activate the pod, sacrificing his Archon. The Mayhem Devil triggers, and Solvi pings the Grand Abolisher. With the search still in the stack, Solvi casts a Resculpt. The pod is exiled, and John then searches out a Lunvala, Keeper of Silence. And at his end step, Hidden flashes in a Notion Thief. Hidden untaps and plays a Tap Rafine's Tower and for 3 cast a Time Twister. And oh man did the table really regret letting that Grand Abolisher survive. As the table then shuffles in their hand and graveyards, while Hidden gets to draw 28 cards due to the Notion Thief. Unfortunately there is a Dothy and Deafening Silence, so Hidden can't go off just yet, and heads the discards, being very careful on what he discards to the Dothy zone, just in case the Dranid doesn't survive. He discards a bunch of cards and gives the turn over to Pixel. Pixel heads the combat and sends Yeva at John, who chumps with his dark confidant, not wanting to accidentally die. <laughs> Solvi has a windswept heath as land. John untaps and chooses not to activate Sylvan with the Notion Thief out. With Pixel at his end step flashing in a Hoto honored physician, and I'm very sorry if I just butchered that name. With Solvi then cracking his windswept teeth and pinging the Notion Thief. He does fail to find and then cracks his two other fetches to ping the Grand Abolisher and fails to find the first but does find a Tundra off the second. Hidden plays an Exotic Orchard and for three casts a Ranger Captain of Eos. He whiffs the search trigger and Hidden thought he was golden at this point as he tries to crack it the Captain to silence the table although he's promptly reminded about the Linvala. He knows everyone only has one card in hand and decides to go for it, as he cracks his pedal for a blue. Solvi sends the Mayhem Devil trigger at Linvala, and Hidden then casts a Thassa's Oracle, which resolves as the Linvala stops Solvi from digging. And with the Thassa's ETB on the stack, Hidden casts a Demonic Consultation to exile his library and win the game. Game Review and with that, the combo deck manages to sneak in a win. I honestly thought the game was over when I saw the Deafening Silence, Archon, and Dranith. It was definitely an interesting maze I needed to navigate to get the win. Although I was lucky that my Notion Thief stayed alive, and I was able to resolve my Time Twister. And most of all, I wasn't the only one hurt by the stacks pieces. I know Pixel was really shut down by the Avon, and man did he whiff when it came to all of his four card searches. As for Solvi, the Archon was hurting him even though he was gaining advantage off his Thrasios, as he wasn't able to properly execute his removal to get to the point where he could win in a single turn. And when Linvala came out and he had to empty his hand due to the Time Twister, he wasn't able to recover. 
As for John, he was probably a little too hasty with his win attempt. But after seeing how much advantage Sylvie was accumulating, I know why he went for it. And maybe without the Drenith stopping him, his Dothy would have been able to get him there. But thanks to the players, and see you guys later. Hey guys, thanks for making it to the end of the video. I just wanted to let you know that we have a TCG affiliate link. And if you ever see a card you want to try, or are inspired to brew something new, use our link when purchasing and we'll receive a small portion of the sale. This is a great way to support the channel, and if you enjoyed the gameplay, please leave a like and subscribe, as it really helps us keep making videos. And remember, never give up, even if you're dead on board. I'll see you guys later.